Hello everyone, my name is Thibault and I'm the Integration Lead Engineer here at Omiseco. My team and I developed the eWallet Suite, a white label, open source and fully customizable eWallet to digitalize and store all types of assets. Today, I'm here to tell you more about its features, what we've added recently and how it can work in the real world. I will be discussing six items within the eWallet Suite. The accounts, tokens, wallets, transactions, and our new additions, a complete configuration system, and the CSV export feature. Here's the master account that was generated when I set up the e-wallet. You can see accounts as logic groupings of users that can represent departments or restaurant branches for companies. Next up, we have tokens, which are basically representations of currencies. In our example today, it's going to be a loyalty token the Configo points. Tokens will be able to represent cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies later. Since we are dealing with amounts of money or tokens, we need a place to store them. That's what the wallets are for. As you can see here, we have a balance in Configo points. Accounts and end users are the only entities to own wallets. You can think about wallets as bank accounts. Now it's time to make a transaction. Transactions are a core functionality of the e-wallet. It allows value to be exchanged between two entities. Let me show you how. First, I pick a wallet to transfer from. I'm choosing the primary wallet of my account, setting the token to Coffeego, and transferring 100 Coffeego points to one of my other wallets. Then, I just click Transfer, and the value is transferred. The configuration system is a new feature we've recently added and that's needed for us to proceed with the blockchain integration. With it, we can have a live editable set of configurations that can be changed from the admin panel and modify the way the e-wallet works. We'll be storing valuable blockchain settings in there very soon. To conclude our roundups of features, let's take a quick look at the CSV export. This can be used to export any or all transactions that have been made. So now we're going to show you how it would work in the real world using the sample POS applications that we've built for CoffeeGo. We have a use case of a merchant, a cafe, and a customer using CoffeeGo points. First, the top-up process. Customer hands over $10 to the merchant. Merchant then scans user's QR code. Merchant confirms the transaction, then the user receives 10 CoffeeGo points which can be used to purchase items at the shop. Now, let's try a payment. To purchase items, customers present their QR code. Then, the merchant specifies the amount of tokens needed to make purchase. Merchant scans customer's QR code. The customer then confirms the price. Et voila, a sale is made. And that was the e-wallet. For more information, click on the link below.